This is Blockbench, a 3D modeling program with support for Minecraft models. This is the Block Wizard, a Blockbench plugin to add custom blocks to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In this video, we'll go over how you can use these two tools to add custom blocks like this to your Minecraft world. If you don't already have Blockbench installed, then go to blockbench.net slash downloads and follow the instructions to install Blockbench on your device. Then open the file menu, go to plugins, switch to available and search for the Minecraft block wizard. Press the install button and close the window. You can find the block wizard here on the start screen. Press create a block to get started. On the very first page of the wizard you can enter the name of your block. Let's make a shrub as an example. In the second field you can enter the ID of the block. The ID is very similar to the name except you want to avoid uppercase characters and special symbols and you want to use underscores instead of spaces. The ID starts with a namespace that is separated by a colon. In this case, my name colon shrub. At the bottom of the page, you can sort the block into one of the categories of the creative mode inventory. We'll add our block to the nature tab. You could also add it into a group if you want. Let's press next to get to the next page. Here you can select a preset for the design and properties of your block. Selecting a preset will select all the properties for your block, but you can also change everything individually later. We'll just go with the stone preset. Let's proceed to the properties page. We do want the block to be mineable, but let's change the destroy time to something like 0.6 seconds. We also want the block to be destructible by explosions. Let's reduce the resistance to somewhere around here. We'll keep friction at normal and make it flammable, but with the default values. Let's switch to the design page. Here you can set the block to emit light, which could be useful if you are creating something like a lamp. Light dampening defines how much light from around it can pass through your block. Let's put that somewhere here in the middle. You can also change the transparency rendering if you'd like, but the default option will work great for most types of blocks. The color you select here will later be displayed on map items when you are using your own blocks in your world. You can also select a sound preset. The preset will change all the different block interaction sounds, like placing, mining and walking on to a specific material. Our shrub will mostly be leaves, so we'll select a leaves preset. This brings us to the export page. Here you can choose whether you want to export your add-on packs directly into the Minecraft folders or export them as an MC add-on package. Exporting to the folder is the recommended option, but it only works on Windows and you need an installation of Minecraft Bedrock. If you want to export to Minecraft Preview instead, you can change the export version in the settings under File Preferences Settings. If you have already exported an add-on before, you can also choose the middle option to add your block to an existing add-on. Let's enter the pack name as well as the authors here. If you want, you can also select a PNG file as your pack icon. When done, press Next to export. This will show a page with instructions on how to install your add-on and proceed. If you have VS Code installed, you can press the Disk button to open and edit the add-on in your code editor. Now let's press next again to jump into the model editor. The model will look like the preset block that you selected. So let's transform it into something custom. Press S to select the resize tool and make the cube a bit smaller. You can see the shortcut keys that I'm pressing at the bottom of the screen and you can pause the video to keep up. If you're not familiar with 3D modeling at all yet, you can also watch some Blockbench tutorials first. We'll duplicate this cube and move it down to create a little pot for the shrub. Scale it down a bit to get the proportions right. Then duplicate it again to create the stem. Let's make that a bit smaller, something like this, and then change the height. Now when you switch to paint mode and try to paint on the model, you will notice that all of the cubes currently share the same little texture and the paint stroke is visible on all sides. We do want to separate them though, so that we can paint all sides individually. To do that, switch back to edit mode and press Ctrl A to select all elements. Then press the append elements to template button here in the textures panel. To confirm the little pop-up and Blockbench will automatically expand the texture and UV map all sides. Let's go back to paint mode and select the paint bucket tool, along with a nice green color. Go over all the faces to give the model a base coat of paint. Then we can do the same for the pot, as well as the stem. I am speeding up the painting process a bit, since this can take a while. 
Essentially what I'm doing is coloring in the model and then using the brush and darker or lighter shades of those colors to add details and shading. You can learn more about texturing models for Minecraft in the style guide on the Blockbench wiki. But once you are done, go to File, Save Model or use the shortcut Ctrl S to save and we can switch over to Minecraft to check it out. We will create a new Minecraft world to test the add-on. You can of course also add it to an existing world. Let's give it a name, set it to Creative and enable cheats. Now go to the behavior pack section. Find your pack and press activate. Activating the behavior pack will automatically add the resource pack to. Now just join the world. The block can now be found in the creative inventory just like any other block. You can place it down and you can break it. If you want to make changes to your block, you can edit the model and block bench and change the add-on in VS Code. To learn more about custom blocks, check out the Minecraft Bedrock add-on documentation at learn.microsoft.com slash minecraft slash creator. Thanks for watching!